Hi, this is Walking and Talking Spirituality. I'm Brian. Thanks for taking a walk with me. I want to talk about getting back to basics. In 2020, has been a challenging year. We don't have to run through all those pieces. But in a sense, as we wait for new normal, it's starting to look like more and more that this is uh, the, the new normal is just going to be this kind of winter that we found ourselves in. So what are we to do? You know, part of this is we've been called for such a time as this. I encourage folks to read books like Esther, read Daniel, read the prophets, and don't forget to read the New Testament too. And Paul, regardless of what was going on in the Roman Empire and the apostles, they went and took the gospel everywhere. We need to remember those types of things. But then it gets, it's, it's, it's really simple. We want to guide persons into profound, dramatic encounters with God. We want to be astonished by the grace and the mercy and the love of God. But for us to help other people and introduce them to the astonishing love of God, we need ourselves to be astonished. So what does that mean? It means getting back to basics. Not thinking about what we should be doing every day, but creating that rhythm in our life that truly fuels our souls. How are you doing with that? Have you found a way that scripture continuously stays alive and exciting for you to read? And there's different reading practices. Have you found a, a way to enrich prayer life, again, not so it becomes something I should be doing for X amount of time, but something that literally fuels my life. You know, what's your, what's your rhythms look like? Again, I'm out walking. Walking is one of my rhythms. Do it almost every single day because it, it centers me. And I do kind of a meditative prayer walk even before I shoot a video like this where I just try to relax and, and think and clear my head. Scripture fuels that. My centering prayer practice every day fuels that. My journaling practices fuel that. What's helping you right now to get back to basics so that you can show up for others in a way that manifests God's love as an ambassador of abundance? I'd love to hear about your rhythms. Till next time, live by faith, be known by love, and be a voice of hope to others.